Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, um, I'm going to bring up a chart here of the two-year and 10-year notes. That's the two-year versus the 10-year. As you can see, the two-year is inverted now. That means people are getting really scared. They want short-term uh, returns on their money. They don't care about the long-term stuff. Now, you can see the major high. This was back in the 87 crash. Uh, this was the dot-com bubble. This was the 2009 stock market uh, or with the uh, real estate uh, market. And then this was COVID, and here's where we are right now. We're seeing that when we're looking at the Treasury notes and the Treasury bonds. Uh, what I want to do now is to show you one of the things that I focused on in the uh, – hold on a second. Let me get it up here so we can see it real easy. Hold on. This is it. This is the Treasury bonds. We'll do bonds first, and then we'll do the notes. But we are at we were at an absolute incredibly important low here in bonds and you can see what happened folks. I said if we start getting below this level, that's a really negative sign. Now we've been down one, two, three, four, five days. We've already exceeded the ABCD to the downside. You can see that we've already extended down to that level. So we're due for a little bit of a bounce, but you've got to watch this bounce incredibly well because if it only bounces a little bit, just like we did here, if we just get something like that, this is going to be incredibly bearish. Okay, so pay pay very, very close if you want to. You don't have to if you don't want to. No one's going to force you, but let's take a look at it anyway. Now we're going to look at the Treasury notes because that's the big one. That's your credit card, auto loans, and stuff like that. And here, whoa, QRST is right there. Let me get the uh, notes up. We're going to look at them first on the long term, which we've seen this before, but it's good for remembering. There was the big number we had up here on the weekly basis. You can see now we're starting to accelerate to the downside, just like we did here at these other times. This is the first big ABCD correction in two and a half years in bonds, folks. The last time we had one was back in 2021. And now you see we're coming down really hard. If we look at this on the daily basis, this is basically telling you folks that something's not right. It's sitting right here at the absolute moment of truth as we speak right now at 112.15. That's the 382 off the low we had back here in April. If it's got any chance at all, this is it right here. In fact, well, I don't know if it's got a chance or not, but I just uh, – I just bought bonds with a 10 tick stop just because this hit the exact 382. I have to respect that because I've seen them happen before. Well, actually, actually, you take a quick look to show you from the uh, there's your low right here. You see, we uh, uh, we went to excuse me, went to the 50 percent. This is the one that I was watching. We were down six days, and that was a, a 382 retracement on that one, and of course, that led to the a big run up there you can see went right there stayed there for one two three four days and this might do this too so i'm hoping that's what happens i know hope is not a good trading word but we're watching it really closely here if we go down on a smaller time scale you'll see here that we are trying to form a bottom down in here but it's still a little still a little iffy that's for sure Anyway, we do live in an interesting times, so make sure that you use a stop no matter what you're doing, and you're, you should be uh, okay. Now, we're going to switch over here and go look at the energy complex here because, uh, you know, this has made a bottom here several days ago, and it's, you well, know, you can see it, you can see it just where where we've been watching it. There was the, there was your big bottom here, there was your first 382, and there was your second 382 right here, and now we're just drifting higher and higher in gasoline, oil, heating oil. Uh, I haven't checked heating oil. I, I, I will do that less. But here's where we are. If we go down to this uh, larger time frame, we went blasting through. We're setting right now at the 78% level of a high that we made way back in July. 
Okay, it's also a 1.618 expansion of this whole move. So this is where we're going to run into resistance right here at 77.06. Now, someone asked me a question. Am I selling it at 77.06? Yes, I am. The reason why, if that 1.618 number is right there, your 786 is right there, all I need is two numbers, just like you had one here. I have to do that because I, I believe, especially in 1.618s, the risk here we're, we're trading at 77.02. I only have to risk $400, you know, and we're having we're having a big move, folks. You know, crude is up uh, three dollars a barrel today, so I'm giving it a little bit. I'm not saying to do that trade. I'm just saying to pay attention to it because it's got all the things that I need. If I go down to the smaller time frame, there's where we are right up here. See, so that's what I have to do. There's nothing else I can do but do those trades because when I see them line up, I don't know which ones are going to work and which ones aren't. You know what? Nobody else does either. That's the real key to what we're paying attention to here. Now, let's take a quick look at the heating oil and also take a look at the gasoline. We want to have our good friend Mike Moore on this week. Hopefully, we'll have him tomorrow. Uh, well, we might uh, better not say that because things are real iffy over there in Tampa, uh, St. Pete, where our friends there at TFNN run the show. And we'll probably, we, we we just don't know yet. Hopefully we'll have our day thing on Friday. But most important thing is I hope these folks can get through this storm. And uh, that's that's what we're really looking at. Now, you can see here, here's the heating oil on a long-term weekly. And uh, you'll notice here, I'm going to smooth this around and show you it's up again today. It's setting almost exactly at the 382. Now, stop and think. Heating oil is at 382. Gasoline, uh, excuse me, crude oil is setting at the 786. We're going to look at gasoline next. But there's your 382 right there. And so there might be something at these levels that we're looking at. All right, now we'll take a look at our Bob. So we'll get up here and bring it up and take a look at that, and we'll see where we are. It was pretty strong. Okay, this is the weekly. Let's just play uh, the devil's advocate gear. And uh, remember, we were looking for that big bottom, which we did get. Now we're having the... Uh, the ABCD structure to the upside. There it is right there. We're, oh, let's go to the daily so we can see it. I don't look at weekly charts very often. Okay, there's the daily. You can see we're, here's one that I, I didn't see it. Thank God I didn't because I would have done that 1.618 here. Uh, wouldn't have been much difference, but uh, get that out of the way here. Yeah, see, this is one of the stronger ones. See, there's your pullback at the 786 right here. And your ABCD, oh, we just got to measure this because... When you have a powerful move coming out of this, we know that it's not going to be ABCD. This tells you it's not going to be ABCD. It's going to be 1.27 of ABCD. So we're going to put that in, 127, and uh, we'll have this up and running. And you'll see uh, that would have come in 2110. So even then, if you'd have done that trade, it would have still been a losing trade. I'm in the crude oil. So I, I did crude oil because that was the only one I was doing at the time. And uh, But that's it. I'm a little nervous. But nervous is okay because I'm using a stop, and I'm using a stop. I know they're not going to hurt me too bad. I might might take a loss, but that's uh, that's neither here nor there. Okay, that happens uh, all the time. All right, now because you folks are such big followers of TFNN, what I'd like to do is to share with you a potential trade coming up here in just a few minutes. So stay with us, and wow. Gee whiz, Alice, sound is so bad, it's unbelievable. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, Education. Educating investors. 
The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I have a request on Apple. You can see here we had the gap down here the other day. We had the rally back, stopped just about exactly between the 382 and 50%, and then it was downgraded today. So it closed at the 28, and it opened lower. Let's just look at it on a smaller time frame, see if we saw anything really exciting. There it is. Over the last few days, we'll move this over. Really hasn't done very much, for heaven's sakes. Here, here was the downgrade right here. Now, if you go up to your last high that was right there, down to your low, you'll see that it did go up there. It stayed there for oh, almost an hour at 25, and now we're a buck lower. This is really a no brain I mean, a non-event, a nothing burger, as they say, in the woke community. But anyway, that's what we're looking at here with Apple. We'll also check on Tesla now that Mr. Tesla himself, Elon Musk, seems to be heavily involved in politics. And we'll get up here. I tried to warn him about that, but he didn't pay attention to me. So what are you going to do? Okay, here's Tesla. We'll get this up and see how it's doing today. It's down just a tad, but really very little. It didn't do much over the last few days. We went up and almost made a, here was your, you know, 786. And this did. This was a pattern that just failed. There's your ABCD. It opens higher. You're gone. Now this is all it's doing. Let's look at it intraday. Just for kicks and giggles, we'll just put an eight minute up here. Ah, we got a trading opportunity. I can see a 382 as we speak. Here is the high right in here. And your 382 just came in here at uh, 2455. The low was down here at 42. So, should be a little resistance here in Tesla on the short term basis, uh, right up in this area right here. Okay, now. Let's switch over to something that everybody likes to look at, and that is live lean hogs. Hold on a second. I want to get this out of the way. And there's our lean hogs coming up in right here. Let's get this up here. We're gonna. What we're going to do here is we are going to switch over to the daily because we've got a really nice little pattern here. And there it is right there, folks. If you like A, B, C, D, and we usually do, this is what we're looking at. 77.64, we're trading at 77.29. The high has been 77.35. We're very, very close up in here. If you do this trade, and if is a big word, if you do this, your stop has got to be at 78.20, excuse me, at 78.40. Um, uh, 
1740. So you got to risk $400 to become a hog farmer. And believe me, you do not want to be a hog farmer. That stuff is tough. I can remember doing that stuff back in those days. <laughs> anyway, this is it. You'll notice you'll see a beautiful three drive pattern right here lining up pretty nicely. So we should get there counting the days up and everything. It looks pretty good. Might not work, but this is the kind you look for. Okay. And this has been a big move, folks. Remember the bottom we had down here at 61? You had to pull back and this move in here. Then you had the 38. Let's see, was that a 382 pullback? I don't look at hogs that much anymore. Oh, it misses it by a little bit, and then we're still going higher. So watch them up here at 77.50, folks. Should be an interesting trade, uh, no matter what we're watching here. Now, we've also had a request to take a look here at the silver market. I'll get it up here in just one second, and we'll take a quick look at silver. And uh, there's where we are in silver. We'll just go down to a 30-minute. Been under pressure recently. Here's where we were on Friday. As you can see, we had that big run-up in silver right there. Okay, now that was that was no more than the A, B, C, D of this move right here, folks, because this was higher. So this has got to be your A, B, C, D. Let me draw it in so you can see it right here. And there's your A, B. There's your C, D. It measures to 33.03, and the high was uh, 33.22. Uh, then, of course, it had the big breakdown. Uh, really, we've had had even had a 382 retracement on this uh, all during this time. This is today's action from Sunday. You see there was nothing on Sunday, nothing there. Uh, we're getting close to a 382 right now, though. There's a 382 with an ABCD possible here. Oh, ow. old age setting in, folks. Sorry about that. There's your ABCD right here, and there's your 382 up here, about another 23 cents in the silver. That'll be an interesting one to look at because you do have an ABCD. Gartley said, when you have a new bear market, look for the first ABCD and sell that and put your stop above these levels here, which he didn't look at Fibonacci at all, but that's where you want to put your stop. If you get above there, there's something seriously wrong with this short if you were to do that. Now, I have several questions about gold that I'll try to answer. They might not be the right answer, but we're going to take a look at it right here. Here's where we are in the gold. All right, let's take a look at the really big long-term picture, which is that weekly that we were looking at. Let's do the monthly because, well, we can do it either way. It doesn't matter. Let's do the monthly because that's the one that had the, all the numbers. We were looking at this expansion here at 1.618. That's the expansion of this whole move. Uh, five years. It's a five-year expansion move, okay? And it measured to 270. Uh, the high was 27083. So missed it by three bucks. So we'll count that as a loser. Now, if we look at this, you'll see now we're trading $40 under. So if we go down to the smaller time frame, which is the hourly, you can see what's been happening. We're all in this real. See, once we get below this level right here, 2745, that's going to tell you that this high is for real. Right now, you don't know if the high is real or not because every time it rallies, it's been rallying a hell of a lot more than 3A2. So there's nothing wrong, you know, with this at all. It looks real, still relatively bullish. It really is. But we get below here, that's when it's going to tell you that, yeah, this is it. And we're going to go down a long way if that does happen. And like I say, you know, it's like, well, never mind. All right, here's where we are. Now, we've got a, we got a potential A, B, C, D forming here on the downside that might take us below that level because the action we had on Friday, you can see we came down. There's your 786 off of that low. You rallied up to the 618. That tells us we're taking right down here again. So this is going to be good support at 2644. That's 20 bucks from where we are right now. That's what I'm watching closely because uh, it, uh, if you can get below here, you want to start watching 382s, folks, because there's a bull around every Costco sold out of gold, I understood, from the radio, uh, Bloomberg today that uh, all of the Costco, besides toilet paper and, uh, and paper towels, they, they sold the little gold bars that they have, one ounce, all the way up to 10 ounce, I believe, gold bars, and they were sold out, which is hard to believe, but I guess not when people get a little bit scared. Okay, the main one that I'm really paying attention to, folks, are the bonds and the notes, because if they don't hold here, 
there's something really wrong out there. I mean, that's, that's, I mean, like super major wrong. So that's it. Now we're going to switch over here and talk about the uh, uh, soybeans here because uh, they had a little bit of a sell-off. You'll see here's where we are. All we did after the sell-off, there's where we were on Friday. Remember, we were looking for the beans to come down. They gapped down here on Sunday night. They rallied up to the 382 of the high that we made back on Thursday. Okay, stopped right there. Hasn't done anything since that. That's just a 10-cent rally, 12-cent rally, no big deal. But that's taken a lot of time to doing it. That's telling you they're selling coming into it. And the last time we had a rally in these bear markets, you'll see all they did was repeat over and over again. There it is there. There it is there. There it is there. Let's take a little break. 877-927-6648. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
Okay, folks, this is a Christmas corn, and as you can see here from this level, we had the 382 up here. Uh, we backed off about 12 cents. The profit objective on this is 415, and boy, if this one, two, three, four days down is all that can do, my goodness, uh, this would be a really interesting one. As a matter of fact, I was shocked that it couldn't get down lower. We got down as low as 21. We rallied a nickel, which isn't really very much, but if we take and look at this on a really short-term basis, You'll see as we get up here, take a 13 minute that probably all it did was make it 382 off of the low back here on September 20th. Let's just double check to see if that's what it did. Oh, yes, that's correct. Now, there, it, there was your high. Look at that. The low overnight was right there at the 382. This is a this could be a really bullish chart, folks. Now, we're in this up in here. So you put your stop at break even. You still got a chance because all we're seeing here on this shorter term is this little ABCD pattern right here. So your profit objective down on this is right around uh, four, four, um, uh, 412 is the pro let's just do the daily up here so you can see it again. There's your profit objective here. Excuse me. It's 416. That's down 11 cents where we are right now. So cover your short corn right here at uh, 416. I would go long here, folks. I really would because you're down one, two, three, maybe a couple, another day or two to get there, but it stopped right at the, that would stop right at the 382 and also blowing it up a little bit. This is not a bearish looking chart on corn, folks. That there's your 618 right in there. So boy, oh boy, take a, make sure you cover it. For God's sake, make sure you break even on this thing, okay? That would get you up into here. You don't want to be a farmer if it gets up there because you want to just step aside and say, okay, I'm going to take all of my uh, leased land and all my uh, leased equipment and get out of Dodge and not spend any money being a farmer. It's a tough business, but when you get it right, it's very, uh, very, very profitable. Okay, now the bonds have not moved very much at all. There's not much going on in these things. The stock's weakening up very slightly, but not too much. And uh, let's move over here. I want to take a second here to go over the money markets, folks, because, you know, we've been talking about that U.S. dollar. Let's get up here because I mentioned it several times here that it didn't look nearly as bearish as they were trying to tell us last week, and it certainly has been. Uh, that's the way it's uh, worked out. Okay, here's the uh, get the uh, daily chart up in here. You can see we've had a big move. We're setting right at the old 382 again, folks. We've been here three days now. Boy, this is a this is where you might really uh, start thinking of taking some profits in here. But look at it. We should have a little bit of a pullback here. We're up one, two, three, four, five, six days in a row. A little bit of a pullback in here. Now remember. The one that we were selling short was the easy one, which was the British pound. So we'll get the British pound up here. As you can see, it's hardly backed off at all. And if we look at this, where we sold it on the long-term daily, well, we did the weekly too. We'll do that. There was the weekly number right up there. Okay, here's where we are right now. The bounce is virtually nothing. So I, I think you just have to stick with it because it's got a chance – like one of these, and this move right here is duplicated right there. That's what we think it has the possibility of doing. There it is right there, and there it is right there. So that's uh, that's what the potential is. Uh, I I really now we've taken out the previous day's low. Oh no, we have not. We did not take out for. Uh oh, let me double check. Hold on, could be wrong. Yep, we did. We did take out the other day, and it hasn't done anything. You see, it just. You know, just bouncing around, doing very little. This is actually bearish action, so I wouldn't get out of that short position. Remember, we're short way, way up on the top of this page, so I would uh, way up here is where we're short. You're down here, so that's a long way just for the 382. So watch it. You get a little bit of a A B C D on this. That's what we're looking at. Blow this up a little bit here, so we can see it here. A B C's work on currencies is absolutely beautiful because they. They do have a lot of people trading them, a lot more than you might think. And there's a, there's the ABCD on that. We shouldn't get much above 3,100. We go back and look. The last time we had a good rally here, which was uh, back on Sunday night, the market rallied uh, a little bit more, got up to that level right here. So this is a, a, a really nice ABCD right at that level. We'll draw it again. From this level right here, it's really. I mean, I I, I can't trade. Uh, well, I could, but I'd be nuts. Well, I am nuts. Well, I like nuts. Anyway, 
uh, this is your the distance here, folks, is 40 pips or 300 off $250. That's you know, you've got to have at least a four or five hundred dollar BC swing in order to make it profitable. So that's what we're doing here. Now, let's take a look here uh, at that dollar index one more time because this is important where we are here. We've had this big move up and we stopped absolutely dead in its tracks right there. If that's the case, we have to look at the euro. So if we come and take a look at the euro. Just take a second to get the old euro up here. And there where we are right here. Okay, and you can see, where did it stop? Right at the old 382. So that's why the euro is holding up here today. Now, that's a 382 off of the low way back here. So this is a big one. We got to watch the quality of the rally here because the market is extremely oversold. So looking at it on a smaller time frame, it should, should be rallying, and there we are. Just like in the pound, let's blow this up, and you'll be able to see some of the smaller ones in here. The swings are there. You can see the A, B, C, Ds here. There's A, B, C, D. Well, let me draw it in so everybody can see it. There's your A leg right here. There's your B leg. There's your C leg. Uh, there's your D leg. So that's completing that pattern here. And we also could go up a little bit higher to this level. So let's go to the hourly chart to see what the 3A2 is going to be on this because there's the big daddy rabbit. Okay, that's the one that you want to see it rally to. Write this number down, folks. This would be one that you really want to watch closely. Yes, I will cover the Japanese yen in a minute. That's up about uh, that's up about 60 handle or 60 uh, pips or $700 would be the 3A2 off of this big move here. We should not get above that. If we get above that, then there's uh, trouble in River City. All right, now let's take a look at the Japanese yen because, boy, I saw something last night, and I said, gee, this needs to be sold. But guess what? I fell asleep, and I missed it. Hold on a second here. There's the hourly chart. That's what I was watching here. There it is right there. As you can see, there's that 1.618 number that I like so much right up in here. And this was the action I was watching. And I said, oh, this has got to be sold. And I was looking to sell it right in here somewhere. We did have the little rally. Let's see if that rally was just about. No, it was more than 382. I can tell you that. But it still would have worked. You'll see that uh, went up. Well, went a little above the 50%, not quite to the 618. The difference here is only 20 pips, so that's available. And now it's down, uh, it's down for quite a bit, you know, 300 bucks, or 400 dollars. So anyway, let's take a little break. 877-927-6648, and uh, we'll be right back. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one strain of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. 
Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Uh, okay, we're back, folks. Someone asked me a question if I lived through these hurricanes before. We don't have hurricanes here in uh, Tucson, but... Uh, Yes, I've lived through all of them because I've been trading for a long time. I one of the most memorable, of course, was Katrina. Now, that's when New Orleans was destroyed, and there were 2,900 people were uh, sent to Tucson being relocated. I mean, they lost everything. They had nothing. They showed up at the at the big uh, convention center, and uh, uh, some of the folks here, we had about 25 traders here in Tucson at the time. Some have moved them away, like uh, Bob minor and a bunch of Arch Crawford and stuff, but we had a group of people and so we decided to try to help. So we went over there and we asked the guy who was in charge, what do you need most? And he said, toothpaste and toothbrushes. So I went to Walmart and I bought all the toothbrushes toothbrush to hello larry toothbrushes that they had and, and most of the toothpaste and when i was getting ready to check out he said what are you doing with all this stuff and i said well we're just trying to help the people that are coming here from katrina he picked up the telephone he called arkansas and by golly they didn't even charge me so we used the money for something else but uh there were some people there you you talk about people that are devastated man they, they came here with nothing I and mean, it was really uh you know quite uh quite bad and you could stop and think what happened in uh in two, uh, was it in 2014 when we had the thing with uh, the big tsunami over in uh, uh, Thailand? Uh, another, see, I had a very good friend of mine who was a trader who lived on that island, and he had this beautiful place. Has uh, been married to a Thai girl for like 20 years. She didn't like to travel much, but it was Christmas, so she wanted to go shopping in Hong Kong. And so they were in Hong Kong when it happened. And when they came back, there was not even a piece of paper where they lived and of course he had some stuff in a safe it was evidently washed to sea and stuff but he had enough money to you know wade through it and stuff like that but boy these things are when you watch it in the news folks i don't know how anybody can not be just uh, totally uh, empathetic towards what these folks are going to because it's it's really uh, really devastating let's move on to some of these markets here uh let's take a quick look here at one of the art markets that we don't travel Sorry, boys and girls, that we don't watch all the time, which is platinum. Okay, now this is platinum. It's uh, down on the day. Remember, it's weaker, uh, weaker of the three metals, including copper. If we look at this on the daily, you know, it was making that uh, 135 pattern right here. There was a 61% retracement right there. I, I stand corrected, folks. The 135 pattern was 135 right here. It worked and then went back above it up to the 61% retracement, and now it's uh, moving down uh, a little bit. Now, with wars going on, copper usually goes nuts when wars are going on. So let's just take a look at the old red metal and see what it's doing. We'll look at the hourly chart. It's not looking too good. And I don't know, maybe they're going to have a piece over there, whatever it happens to be. But there's copper over the last few days. 
And you can see we had this big big rally here back on the 29th, and then we've been here. It's really done nothing over the just small rallies with lower lows, so this is not a good sign for copper. If we look at this on the four-hour chart, you'll see that it's really, really bearish because if you look at that, all we did on this was to get up to the 61% retracement of that big move. That was when the war first started breaking out over there in uh, the Middle East. And so here's where we are now. And as you see it here over these last few days, lower tops. This is not this is not good price action for copper. If you'd like, uh, like the copper market, you can see there's what we're doing. We have a little bit of a rally here. Same thing. It rallies up one more time over the last two days. How high does it get? It gets to the 61% retracement on the 4th and also on the 6th. And now we're sitting right here, still looking like it wants to uh, move lower. So I don't like to watch the news on any of that stuff, but uh, sometimes you have to just to see what, what's happening into the rest of the world. Okay, that's the copper. I've had a question about Archer Daniels Midland. So I'll bring that. We've had that stock in our portfolio here for a while. ADM, there it is right here. Let's see if it's telling us how the farmers are doing. ADM is not doing good from the farmer's perspective because that's it. Let's just do the daily chart so we can get a better perspective. Yeah, see, it's been it's been going down, and uh, this is basically telling you that the farmers are not buying as much as they want. But we need to look at Caterpillar. This is still, you have an ABCD here. Uh, it looks like right at about the 786. Let's just double check. Uh, almost exactly at the 786. So let's look at Caterpillar, which is one of the five or six big stocks in the Dow Jones. Here it is, Caterpillar. And let's get it up on the daily. This had been really strong. Let's see how we're doing. And it's still strong. It's making a new high today, even with the, uh, wow, that is really strong. Shut the front door and raise the rent. That surprises me, but that I'm surprised often. So this is where we are now. You notice here we have this gap. See that big gap here? That means that this ABCD has to be corrected. So the Edson folks built this program. So when I put that in there, all I have to do is change the CD swing to 1.27, which I'm doing right now. And that's going to take us up to bada bing, bada boom. It's still way above it. Should have topped at 390. We're at 399 right now. Let's look at this on a really long term. Oh, this is making new highs all the way. So I don't see anything, no reason at all to, sh to short this stock. Let's look. Well, I, well I'm going to look at it smaller time frame, but no, I don't see any reason to sell this. Look, it gapped up again, still strong. So I would not worry about it. If you want to see a stock in the Dow Jones, it's even more expensive than this one, which is Microsoft. Then you're going to see a stock that is really not doing very well. And let me get softy up here. And there it is right there. And you'll see here, look at this. This is not looking good for Microsoft. You can see it's down again today. I don't know how many days in a row it's been down, but it's been quite a few. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 days. And we should be setting a really good support here. Let's see if where we are. We're right at the 50% of that move of that whole move, and we're right about 786 of the other move. Yeah, right in here. So there should be some pretty good support here in Microsoft, but boy, it doesn't look uh, doesn't look very good. I believe this is the third most expensive stock in the Dow, triple digits. Number one is United Healthcare. Number two is Goldman Sachs, and number three is Microsoft. So let's look at Goldman Sachs and also United Healthcare since it's closer. We'll just bring that up, and we'll see how it's doing today. It's down just a little bit, but, you know, nothing to write home about. We'll write this up here. Yeah, it's down a little bit. Yeah, well, eh, not really too much, but it is down. So let's take a look here now at uh, Goldman Sachs. Oh, I have to show you a Goldman Sachs chart, folks. Very important. Rich Anderson was kind enough to send it up here. We want to get that up. Oh, my gosh, i got to do that. The break's coming up. Boy. Whew, we were higher here in Goldman Sachs. Now we're lower on the day. Maybe that's why the Dow Jones uh, futures are backing up a bit. All right, let's uh, let's see how we're doing with the time here on this. We've got 38 seconds, so let me get this chart up, and we'll talk about it when we come back from the break. And this is a chart sent to us from uh, Rich Anderson from Goldman Sachs, and I think this is one important stock, folks. Chart. 
Saw chart. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Folks, this is a chart from Goldman Sachs. It's the sum total of all buying of futures for equities. And as you can see here, we've had this big run up like this. Now, one thing we can always remember is the stock market always lets these people get out right near the high. You can see most of them got out right here and most of them got out right here and most of them got out right here. So all that's left are the few people that are still long and there'll only be two or three of those in a bit. But you can see here, this is, folks, if you're long. This should scare the living pants right off of you, in my opinion, because opinions are like armpits. Everybody has one, and it usually smells. So be really careful up here being long. We haven't had a move like this since COVID. And, well, there, this was COVID right here. Oh, COVID was right there. I don't know what that one was. But anyway, this is a pretty big uh, – you can see I don't – I can't see all the little stuff. But, boy, that that's a straight-up move. Oh, boy, that, that's that's scary. That means your greed index is going off the charts, and that's what that is all uh, related to. So we want to be doing that. Now, tomorrow we're going to have Mike – hopefully we'll have Mike Moore 
uh, as our guest on Friday is going to be really special. We're going to have, and hopefully if we have a show tomorrow, or the, but we should have it on Friday. On Friday, Stan Harley is going to be here visiting me, so he's going to be doing his show at the regular time uh, with me on Friday, and we're going to do the live trading uh, between uh, 9 and 12 on Friday, which should be some fun with this volatility. Well, we should have some good opportunities. That's basically all I look at. So those are the things that we're paying attention to. Please, folks, I don't care if you got any money or not, but get at your rosary, your worry beads, whatever you have, and say some prayers for these folks that have this horrible storm coming their way after just getting hit by another one. I, I can't imagine what that would be like. But uh, we got to do that. It's all part of life. We'll all get through it together. They gave it through Katina, Katrina, Andrew, uh, Hurricane Carla in 1960. So, Andrew, we can do it. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude. And may God bless. We'll see you on the flip side tomorrow, folks. 